right, go ahead and chamber it for me. Good. Okay, uh, go over to the six. Okay, now, as long as it's in the black, press it. But if it moves, stop and start all over again. Okay. Okay? That's what I want you to concentrate on. Right. right. Keep in action the whole time, unless you need to start over. Ready? Okay. And work. I'll be damned. Look at that. That's instant change. Now, stay, keep with the trigger. Keep it moving and keep cleaning up the sights. That was not the same thing. Did you feel you went like this? You just, you, you, you decided it was a bad child and it needed to be snatched up, right? I want you to keep the trigger moving while you're cleaning up the sights. So keep it moving. Don't go suddenly. One more time. Keep it moving, keep it moving. And there you go. Finger straight and holster. High five. <laughs> All right. What made the difference? Uh, you were there telling me. <laughs> <laughs> when the first trigger right? comes from me. No. Right? Yeah. Keep moving that finger. I was locking and getting anticipation. Glock has a very hard wall. People like to get to the wall and hold, but then you have to do what? Accelerate through the wall, which means you take a four pound pressure trigger and you put about 12 pounds of pressure in it. 12 pounds of pressure into the frame will drop that about three inches. So I already knew when I looked at this one that he's dropping the gun and I watched him do that. He would get to the point where it should fire and then he did all that. So the whole hand convulsed. It is much better to be connected to your trigger during the entire process. I take up the slack, I move through the wall, it fires, I release it, the gun comes back down, I take up the slack and I fire until I stop shooting the process. This stopping at a wall is kind of a bad habit, mm. but the striker fire generation is really into it. Those of us that shot revolvers and double action triggers, you have to stay very connected to it. You're cleaning it up the whole time. And it's not that it's a bad habit because we stop and start, but it puts too much acceleration, and it also creates a moment of now. So they'll be very good shooters at certain distance because the now matches that, but they'll have a lot of problems on the inside and the outside because it won't be a pre precision trigger press. So you only press the trigger at the same speed unless it's carefully, quickly, or precisely. And that's relative to the size of the target, nothing else. The target tells you how quickly to do it. But I never get there, stop, and then go. Get there, stop, and go. What I'm going to do is just keep moving through it. Even if I get there and kind of stop, I just apply a little bit more pressure until it burns. But I don't stay still. As soon as you stay still, it's hard to get started because things in motion tend to what? Stay in motion. And things at rest? Stay at rest. I don't know that guy Newton said that, right? If it's a physical law of the universe, do you think it applies to your trigger finger? Every time. Every time. So that stopping and starting is very hard athletically. Who played baseball?